The first video clip that we see is part of this trek that we've heard about where Photos Dulos is allegedly driving down Albany Avenue in his truck and along the way, he and Michelle, his girlfriend, are dumping off trash bags of evidence in different trash cans. This video was captured on May 24th, 2019, the day Dulos's wife Jennifer disappeared. The police were actually able to go back to these trash cans that they see on the surveillance video, and they were able to recover some of these trash bags, and they found inside the trash bags clothing and home goods that had blood on it. They tested it, and it ended up being Jennifer's blood. With Tracone is facing charges of conspiracy to commit murder and tampering with evidence, this new video was just released by her attorney. That's the way the police described it, that both Photos and Michelle were doing this together. But when you see this clip, it's very clear that Michelle is in the passenger seat of the truck and never gets out. The most she ever does is open the passenger door at one point and it appears to wipe her hand on the ground. The defense attorney is saying, look, the police exaggerated to try and make Michelle look more culpable than she actually is when you look at the evidence. He gave me a piece of paper, a paper towel. And the second clip that he's released is a clip of Michelle being interrogated by the police where they're talking about this paper towel. Michelle says that the day that Jennifer disappeared, Fotos was cleaning out his truck and he uses a paper towel and he hands it to her and it has some brown stains on it. The police are insinuating that the brown stains on the paper towel is Jennifer's blood. I hold the paper towel, but I didn't smell it. Perhaps at some point, we don't know, in the conversation, someone said, oh, maybe it looked like coffee. And the police are trying to say, well, it didn't smell like coffee, right? But she doesn't really, you know, pick up on that. So the defense attorney is saying, look, when you look at the actual evidence, the case against my client, Michelle, is not strong. So she should not have all these bail conditions on her. He doesn't want her to have to wear the ankle bracelet because she's on house arrest, not have to have the GPS tracking, not have to check in with her probation officer and be able to travel wherever she wants to without any restriction. Jennifer's body has never been found and the murder case against Dulos was dismissed after he died following a suicide attempt. But Traconis will still have to face a jury. I think the main thing is if the family can have the case heard in the criminal court so that people can hear the evidence and hear what the prosecution has to say about what happened to their loved one, Jennifer. Hopefully that will help them feel some sense of justice. It is such a horrific tragedy. Traconis has pleaded not guilty to the charges against her.